Hello everyone, and welcome to another Jurassic Park video. I think it goes without saying that Jurassic World would not have been possible without John Hammond, the father of Jurassic Park. Hammond was an eccentric entrepreneur who had a dream of creating a theme park with living dinosaurs. However, after the Isla Nublar incident of 1993, it seemed as though Hammond's dreams came to a tragic end. But then Simon Mizrani came along and took the reins. Mizrani Global acquired InGen Technologies in 1998, and eventually, Jurassic World was opened in 2005. John Hammond's dream had finally come true. In the Jurassic World movie, Simon Mizrani mentioned that Hammond entrusted him with his dying wish. But what exactly was his dying wish, and was it truly fulfilled? Those are definitely questions that are up for debate, because way back in the Lost World movie, Hammond seemed to have quite the change of heart. His new mission seemed to be the preservation of the dinosaurs on Isla Sorna. His initial dreams of an operational dinosaur theme park were seemingly thrown out the window. Even Malcolm jokes about this, saying that Hammond, quote, went from capitalist to naturalist in just four years, end quote. By the end of the movie, Hammond stayed true to his beliefs, as he was advocating for the preservation and isolation of Isla Sorna. He believed that the dinosaurs should live in peace, without the presence of humans. Now regarding the isolation of Isla Sorna, there's some very interesting information about this topic on the Mizrani Backdoor website. It reveals that Mizrani was granted limited access to Isla Sorna, and in 2004, construction of Jurassic World was completed, with assets being moved from Isla Sorna to Isla Nublar. In this case, the assets undoubtedly refer to the dinosaurs of Isla Sorna. Mizrani took most of the dinosaurs off Isla Sorna and moved them to Isla Nublar for Jurassic World. As to what they did with the rest of the dinosaurs, well, that's a discussion for another time. With Mizrani taking the dinosaurs from Isla Sorna and moving them into Jurassic World in order to make money off of them, doesn't that kind of go against what Hammond wanted for these animals in his final days? Remember, Hammond wanted the dinosaurs to live in peace, away from humans. One could argue that Mizrani went against Hammond's wishes. At the same time, however, Hammond always wanted everyone to realize how wonderful and amazing dinosaurs were, and Jurassic World did just that for the most part. With building Jurassic World, one could also argue that Mizrani fulfilled Hammond's wishes. I mean, the Jurassic World movie does suggest that this was the case. As for my thoughts, I guess that depends on what Hammond's dying wish was. I mean, if Hammond's dream was to show the world how amazing dinosaurs were, then yeah, I think it was fulfilled. If Hammond's dream was to preserve the dinosaurs of Isla Sorna, well... I guess it was kind of fulfilled. I mean, they were all kept alive, although they weren't free like he wanted, at least until the end of Fallen Kingdom. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Mizrani fulfilled Hammond's dying wish, or not? Talk about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.